At this moment, the energy in matter and the energy in radiation are still equal. But as the relentless cosmic expansion continues, the waves of radiation, that is, of light, are stretched to lower and lower energies, while the matter spreads thinner and thinner throughout space. Now, neutral atoms form as electrons link up with hydrogen, helium, and other atomic nuclei. The cosmic background radiation hails from this moment and thus gives us a direct picture of how matter was distributed at this early time. By the way, disturbance from the cosmic background radiation is something we have all experienced. Tune your television to any channel it doesn't receive, and about 1% of the dancing static you see is accounted for by this ancient remnant of the Big Bang. So the next time you complain that there is nothing on TV, remember that you can always watch the infant universe. By now, the universe has created all the matter it will create, but only a few percent of it will ever be visible to us. The rest is dark matter. What is dark matter? Oh, well, let's say that the headlights of an oncoming 18-wheeler are visible. That's the visible matter. The rest of the semi-truck, the big rig, is the dark matter. And that can slam into you just as well, whether you see it or not. We astronomers have found gravitational irregularities in galaxy motions that show us that there is a lot of stuff out there that we cannot see. That is, we either think that the laws of physics are correct and the dark matter is there, or we have to believe that our understanding of those laws of physics is seriously flawed. Time should tell. In any case, the fog of matter is too thick. Photons can't get through that fog. It's all still dark. Nothing shines. Yet. 